the old craft goes back hundreds of years, even King Rufus, right? He was killed by the witches. You got the Rufus stone down the road, not far away. Mm. Apparently he was shot by an arrow from the top of a tree, killed. Because he was messing with the, the pagans and or the witches, we call them witches. Yeah, um, and they took all the rights from him. You know, they had no right to anything. They were starving. Well, he they wanted to own the land. So witchcraft is not all this romanticism people mm. think. Witchcraft is in everyone. People say to me, I'm a yeah. white witch or a black witch. And I say, there's no such thing as a black and white yeah, witch. Yeah, if you're a witch, yeah, yeah. you have in it up to your neck or not at all. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my generation, we're looking for something to believe in that's real, mm. that's authentic. Yeah. That's why you'd be drawn to paying some witchcraft. Yeah. It's, it's better to do that than be at the nightclub and taking drugs all night long again, paying your head, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but the, it's very healthy for your mind psychologically and emotionally. So people should go and walk the earth and spend time with the earth. Because it's, it's very powerful to heal your body and your mind. What you do, Alex, look at the cards and whatever you feel drawn to, you just pull them out one at a time and pass them to me to a tater stop. We need quite a few. I'll do all the thinking, all the counting, you don't got to think about anything, just whatever you feel drawn to. Okay. Okay, well these are tarot cards. This side is your present and the recent past, and this side is your immediate future. This lady is called the High Priestess, which actually means, surprisingly, probably might not surprise you, you're actually very, very naturally psychic. And also got the keys of knowledge here, which means you're an intelligent man. You're a little bit like Sherlock Holmes. You gotta know how, why, and when, and then some more, and then some more, and then some more, and then some more, just in case. It also means teacher, you make a good teacher one day. You haven't got to be a teacher, but you, you have this innate wisdom. There's a reason for this card. It runs in you and also it connects with the nature, the Mother Earth. You'd be able to go for a walk in the park, in the forest, by the sea, talk to the birds and the animals, because you can. Mm. You can't take your friends out, they think you're crazy. You're not, you're a human being, being human. Before the humans dumb you down into a zombie. It just makes you actually, you're a natural leader of people. Not because you've got to be the boss, you have that spatial awareness. And because you have that awareness, you, you will probably look at people sometimes, you probably will think, God, are they thick or what? <laughs> right? <laughs> Guess what, you're 100% right. Right, but don't feel bad about it. Sure. Because everyone's might be boring well, wouldn't it? Artistic, creative, visionary by nature. You're the ideas person as well. You in a relationship with anyone right now? A new relationship to, to start in the next two days, two weeks, two Is months? That? Yeah, someone around you, we can be in a relationship. Yes. So that's a complicated uh, thing. Well, I mean, I like someone. But... Well, it's looking good. Is it? Yeah. It doesn't look good last night. Yes, because yeah. the person in a relationship, that's not the one. Anyway, I'm usually, I'm usually 90% right, by the way. So happens, you come back to so tell yourself. <laughs> it's like you've been reborn 20 times before. Up to 70 to 80% of the people you're going to meet in your life, even probably some members of family, probably exes, even people you work with now. Up to 70 to 80% of the people you meet in your life have only been reborn five times. That's why people don't see or feel what you feel. That's the drive you're mad. You look at them, you think, why are you being so thick? How can of common sense? Yeah. Why are you being toxic? How can we all about you? And can we can't think outside the box that you know why? Because you're awake, they're asleep. What star sign are you, by the way? Um, I'm a Virgo. Virgo. Well, Virgos, you know, they are, they are perfectionists. It's either your way or the highway, ultimately. Mm -hmm. And you've got your perfect bubble, right? And you've got your bubble being rocked, which makes you very sensitive to people, emotions, yeah. especially relationships. So you can be triggered in like one second. You go, oh, you do one, the other's not perfect. That's a Virgo trait. Yeah. Right? What is comedy? Comedy is very clever. This is just artistic and creative. Comedy is on the edge. Comedy turns up reality into a joke, doesn't it? Yeah. And you turn things upside down into a joke. Mm. That's what you do. But you, you hone your heart. This is why you're artistic, creative, and visionary. There's no reason why you can't you can go very far. You can use the analogies of the world, whatever goes on, to, to create it. But you will definitely be a comedian. But you will, it is a tough yeah. line. All right, I'll stop there. That'll make sense to you. Yeah, no. Okay. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Thank you.